Richard Southern joins us once again on this very special Friday, and it is National Donut Day. Happy National Donut Day to you. You too. Yeah, it's a great day. Hey, some donut facts for you that you may or may not have known. Because donut, I find donuts very interesting. I don't know about you. Perfect for the interesting stories report. <laughs> uh, Canada, did you know, has more donut shops per capita than uh, any other country in the world, owing, I guess, oh. largely to Tim Hortons. Canadians eat about a billion donuts a year. Lloyd Minster eats more donuts than any other Canadian city for whatever reason. Why is there a hole in the middle? Uh, <laughs> when donuts first became popular in the 1830s, Melissa Cooks found that they cooked more evenly if they poked a hole in the middle. During the Second World War, they handed out donuts to boost morale. To mark National Donut Day, Tim Hortons uh, rolled out two donuts from its past. They're on the menu for a limited time. The Walnut Crunch and uh, the Cherry Stick Donut, hmm. which not everyone is uh, happy about because they didn't feel that they looked too appealing. Melissa, what is your favorite type of donut? I really like um, those like plain like Krispy Kreme donuts. Yes, I feel like you can't, you can't go, go wrong. wrong. Yeah, just like especially like, warm right out of the factory there, just plain glazed perfection. What about you? Um, I love the honey cruller. Uh, you Ooh. might be uh, fascinated to know that the best-selling donut at Tim Hortons last year was the Boston cream. Okay. I find like the honey cruller donut feels like it's not fully cooked. I don't know. Well, it's very, yeah, it's light and airy. I know what you mean, but I think it's, yeah. uh, it's, a, it's a nice treat where you can have maybe more than one of them if you're Richie. You <laughs> that is true. It is, it's quite light. Hmm. <laughs> okay, now Greta Gerwig's upcoming Barbie movie has created a worldwide shortage, and surprisingly, it is not doll-related. No, it's not. Uh, they use so much pink on the set that the Barbie movie caused an international shortage of pink paint, of fluorescent oh. pink paint. That, as you can see by the preview here, I mean, they covered everything in paint. One clip shows the Barbie dream house, you know, covered in pink, a pink slide, pink pool, pink everything. Uh, the hotly anticipated movie to open on July 21st featuring Margot Robbie as Barbie, Ryan Gosling as her boyfriend Ken. And it has been confirmed, thank goodness, that Aqua's Barbie Girl, which you and I grew up with, is in fact in the soundtrack. Yes, okay, because it wouldn't be a Barbie movie without Barbie Girl, right? No, it wouldn't. Come on, Barbie. Let's go party. <laughs> I love all the pink. It looks great. So cool. It's like my room. Pink. <laughs> <laughs> and America has a new national spelling bee champ after the competition's finals went 15 rounds. A 14-year-old won the championship yesterday, and I'm sure you're as, as, as smart as a 14-year-old, Melissa. I sure hope I'm gonna so. Put you <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just terrible. I'm going to put you to the test, though. This okay. is the word, the, the championship spelling word. It is samophile, meaning a plant or animal that prefers sandy areas. Samophile. Give it a shot. Samophile? Yes. Yeah, Can samophile. you use it in a sentence? <laughs> um, I see an animal here that is a samophile because it likes sandy areas. Huh. You know what? I am from the spell check generation. Grew up spell check all day, but I'll give it a shot. S A M S A M A A F I L E. P H I L E. I regret to tell you you are not winning the City News spelling bee today. No. Let's take a let's take a look at the champion from last okay, night. Here let's we go. See it. Dev Shaw, if you spell this next word correctly, we will declare you the 2023 National Spelling Bee Champion. Samophile, Samophile. Samophile. P S A M M O P H I L E, Samophile. That is correct. Who knew it started with a P? Oh, wow. wow. Okay. I'm going to give you points A for effort, though, Melissa. A for effort. <laughs> He's, he's a parent's dream, really. <laughs> Good on him. <laughs> yeah, congratulations to the winner. Well, thanks so much, Richard. Uh, we'll see you again on Monday. Have a great weekend. Have a good weekend. See you.